Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss the problem of integral equation from CSINET June 2019. Example number 45 from booklet C which is of marks 3. If y is a solution of y of x minus integration 0 to in x, x minus t y t dt equal to 1, then which of the following is true? First option, solution y is bounded but not periodic in R. Second option, y is periodic in R. Third option, integration yx dx over r has finite value and the fourth option integration dx by yx over r has finite value. Now to solve this integral equation we will use Laplace transform and we will recall basic concept of the Laplace transform and the first concept is the convolution. So, operation convolution between two function fx and gx is defined as integration 0 to x f of x minus t gt dt. And the property of convolution is Laplace of f star g is equal to Laplace of f into Laplace of g. Now, y minus integration 0 to x x minus t y t dt equal to 1. So, if we take negative term on the right hand side, then yx is equal to 1 plus integration 0 to x, x minus t, yt dt. Apply Laplace on the both side, then we have Laplace of yx is equal to Laplace of 1 plus integration 0 to x, x minus t, yt dt. Using the property of Laplace transform, Laplace of yx is equal to Laplace of 1 plus Laplace of integration 0 to x, x minus t, y t, t, t. Now Laplace of 1 is 1 upon s and this integration, if we compare with the definition of convolution, integration 0 to x, f of x minus t, g of t, dt. So f of x minus t is equal to x minus t. So fx is equal to and g of t equal to y of t so g of x is equal to y of x so this integration represents the convolution between x and y x so we can write x star y x now using the property of convolution laplace of x star y x is equal to laplace of x into laplace of y x and laplace of x is 1 upon s square so we have 1 upon s square into Laplace of yx. So if we take 1 upon s square Laplace of yx on the left hand side, then we have 1 minus 1 upon s square Laplace of yx is equal to 1 by s. Now by simplifying, we have s square minus 1 divided by s square Laplace of yx is equal to 1 upon s. If we take this coefficient of Laplace of yx on the other side, we have s divided by s square minus 1. Now taking Laplace inverse on the both side, we have yx is equal to L inverse s upon s square minus 1. So L inverse s upon s square minus n has value cos hyperbolic x which is e power x plus e power minus x divided by 2. So yx is equal to cos hyperbolic x is a solution of given integral equation. Now the first option is y is bounded but not periodic in R. So solution is cos hyperbolic x and the cos hyperbolic x is bounded below by one but not bounded function. Therefore yx is not bounded. So first option is cancelled and it is also not periodic. So first two options are wrong. Now in the third option integration yx dx over r. So integration minus infinity to infinity yx is cos hyperbolic x dx. Integration of cos hyperbolic x is sin hyperbolic x. And the sin hyperbolic x is unbounded function and sin hyperbolic infinity has infinity. So third option which says that it has finite value which is 
wrong now the fourth option so first three options are wrong so fourth option must be true so we'll see integration over r 1 upon yx is equal to 1 upon cos hyperbolic x dx so integration minus infinity to infinity 2 upon e power x plus e power minus x dx so divide numerator and denominator by e power minus x then we have 2 times e power x divided by e power 2x plus 1 dx now substitute this value in the integration we have integration minus infinity to infinity e power dx is equal to dt so 2 dt in the denominator we have e power 2x plus 1 so e power 2x is equal to t square so in the denominator we have t square plus 1 now this function 2 divided by t square plus 1 is even function and limit of integration is minus infinity to plus infinity so we can rewrite the integration in the form 2 into integration 0 to infinity 2 times t square plus 1 dt now 1 upon t square plus 1 as integration 10 inverse t therefore 2 into 2 4 times 10 inverse t evaluate between the limit 0 to infinity so if we put infinity then 10 inverse infinity is equal to pi by 2 and the lower limit 10 inverse 0 is equal to 0 so finally we have 4 into pi by 2 so which has value 2 pi and it is finite therefore the fourth option is correct Thanks for watching. For more videos, like, share, subscribe, press the bell icon of next gen.